the Moore's Million Stairs Leg 14 next in. And this is the longer distance version. And it's three miles and seven furlongs today. The top one is Maritza for Thomas Rogers. Robin Knights for Darren Thompson. Reynaldo for Alex Cherry. Sang Blur, Craig Beckwith. Eager and Keen. Graham Clutterbuck. Put the kettle on David Hooney. Westwire Rush Martin. Liam. New Blood Burt. Vinnie Gerard, Labanese, Craig Beckwith, Ogerman, Prejudice, James Shane, and Summer Suspicion for Dan Hughes, and No More Heaven for Paul Rhodes. So, definitely some of these that would have been earmarked for the National at one point. Then 12 of them over the best part of four miles, and called in and away. We have the Robin Knights, one of the first to show Ogerman, Prejudice, and Eager and Keen also. They're Eager and Keen likes to lead as they get to the first, which they're all safe now over the new blood Burt. Did his best to get rid of the jockey. Eager and King pulling for its head. And the jockey tried to restrain it, letting Ogerman prejudice go on. And with some suspicion back in third. I think that one normally likes to go from the front as well. Robin Knights is back in fourth as they get to the second. And they're all safely over that one with Eager and King in the lead from Ogerman Prejudice. And then some suspicion in the blue. Westmire Rush in the purple jacket is fourth as they get to number three, and they're all safely over number three with Maritza, the top weight, the new back marker. It's an awful long way to go yet. And the electric fence is turned off again, as they turn it off for chases as they get over the next. And they're all safely over it. And Eager and Keen's in the lead. From Ogerman Prejudice second, Summer Suspicion is third, and there's a gap of four lengths back to Reynaldo in the orange sleeves, Westwire Rush in the purple on the rail. And Robin Knights and New Blood Burt they put the kettle on, and Labanese and Sang Blur in the same colours together, and No More Heaven, and finally Maritza. And down to the fifth, and over that one they go, and we'll safely over that one as well. With the leading trio, some five lengths clear of the chasing pack to fence number six and the two leaders landing together. Ogerman Prejudice in the all green jacket and Eager and Keen in the red, white and green and Summer Suspicion in the all blue. His third gap of five lengths then to the orange sleeve Ronaldo. Westwire Rush the first of the two in purple and two shades of green for New Blood Burt as they get to number seven and the leader made a mistake there went right through the top of it. Also put the kettle on the second of the purple jacketed horses made a mistake as well but they're past the winning post then with another couple of circuits to go and some of the suspicion is now caught up on the outside of Eager and Keen to take a share of the lead Ogham and Prejudice now back in third after that mistake Ronaldo's back in fourth and then Westmire Rush is five Newgood Bird is six and then Sangler seven and Robin Knight's eight and then No More Heaven as they get over number eight and they're all safely over that one with Maritza Still just a back marker. And these leading three. Taking it in terms for lead. Well, they don't appear to be cutting each other's throats. They seem to be bowling along together quite nicely. And Summer Suspicion in the centre will take off in the lead. And land in the lead as well. And they're all safely over number nine. Making their way towards the next. With three in a line up top. Summer Suspicion in the centre. Time just slightly out jumped by the other two and momentarily dropped back into third, but it's going to be three in a line again in a minute, I think. That's Ogre and Prejudice on the outside, Eager and Keen on the inside, and between the two of them, some are suspicion in the blue. Gap of four lengths then to Westmire Rush, who's fourth, with Ronaldo in fifth as they get to number 11. And over that one they go, and another mistake towards the back might put the kettle on. Also, Maritza wasn't full perfect. Coming to number 12. Over the final for this in week 13 is over the Grand National fences. And we didn't see many fallers in the Grand National this year, so maybe they're not the daunting obstacles that we remember from years ago as they get over number 13. And Ogerman Prejudice leads by a length to Eager and Keen second. Summer Suspicion third. Gap by only two and a half to three lengths then to Ronaldo and Westmire Rush is now back in fifth with New Blood Burton, Robin Knights and Sang Blur, then a gap of a couple of lengths to No More Heaven and then three in a line at the back 
put the kettle on the near side, Maritza in the centre and over on the far side, Labanese. So down to number 14 then, and Ogerman Prejudice is now a couple of lengths up on the other two. It's probably the biggest lead any of them have had so far. As the field begins to kind of merge into one group, there's a gap of about four lengths still between third and fourth, but they're all definitely getting a little bit closer now. Bizarrely, a little bit more strung out at the same time, but it's Ogerman Prejudice in the lead from Summer Suspicion and Eager and Keen as they make their way up the straight again. They've still got another circuit to go after this one. And Ogerman Prejudice will take this fence, which will be the last on the next circuit with a lead of about two lengths. Summer Suspicion is over it in second. Eager and Keen is third. West by Rush and Ronaldo together in fourth. As they pass the winning post then with just less than a mile and a half to go. And the race will be on in earnest now with Ogerman Prejudice in the lead by about a length and a quarter to Summer Suspicion second. Eager and Keen third. West by Rush and Ronaldo are getting closer to that lead in three. And then a little gap to Robin Knight's New Blood Burton, Sang Blur and No More Heaven as they get over number 17 and Summer Suspicion made a mistake there and suddenly Ronaldo and West by Rush have joined Eager and Keen and Summer of Suspicion, but Ogerman Prejudice is still two lengths clear. Going down to number 18 now then, all still on their feet, and Ogerman Prejudice leads by two at this big ditch. Over it they all go, and they're all safely over it, with Summer Suspicion second, Eager and Keen third, Rain out oh fourth on the inside, West by Rush on the outside, he's fifth now. No more heaven being driven up to join that group as they get over number 19 and they're all now really in one bunch with the exception of this leader Ogerman Prejudice who's got a three length lead now from Summer Suspicion. West by Rush comes around the outside into third. Eager and Keen is still there in fourth. No more heavens making significant progress around the outside. Ronaldo might get trapped on the rail. Also trying to get into it now is putting the kettle on over the 20th they go and Ogerman Prejudice went right through the top of it and that's presented the rest of them a chance to join him now then. And all of a sudden it's no more heaven on the outside who's come through the challenge as they race down towards the 21st fence and over that one they go really good jump by West by Russian by also Maritza the top weight who's come from absolutely nowhere coming down now towards the fourth class and then Maritza's hit the front Maritza's taking it up coming down towards this final ditch Maritza gets over and gets away from it while the class horse in the race is suddenly put five lengths between herself and everybody else Maritza racing down towards the third last has she gone too soon leads by five lengths to no more heaven in second West by Rush is third, put the kettle on, moves through into fourth, but Maritza is the one they've got to catch, the top weight's clear, Maritza from No More Heaven in second, then West by Rush, Labanese and put the kettle on, are trying to get into it, they're coming down towards the third last fence now then, and Maritza's in the lead, getting into it, jumps it nicely, gets away from it well, put the kettle on his second, then comes No More Heaven and West by Rush, Labanese on the outside, Maritza's coming down towards the final two fences with a clear lead of six lengths, who put the kettle on, Summer Suspicion's gone at the back, it's Maritza. Maritza who's I think pulling away at the second last Maritza gets over it, gets away from it well, it's Maritza in the lead put the kettle on, Ronaldo, Labanese and West Wild Russia trying to close but they're racing there towards the final furlong and it's Maritza who's just got one more fence to take and a short run in Maritza coming down towards this final fence then Jockey has a look around see how much, he, how much room he's got he's racing towards this final fence he just wants to pop over it and he steps off it but he gets over it, ok Ronaldo though he's closing on the outside, Maritza and he's alone, Maritza's gonna get the line. Maritza takes it, Maritza's the winner, Ronaldo is second, and then come Robin Knights and Lamanese and pull the kettle on and Sangler. Uh, and all the way back to No Blood Burt. And Maritza, the top weight, you don't get top weight for nothing. And the class horse in the race showed a turn of foot about six fences out and put the race to bed, really. Won it pretty comfortably. Let's take a look at the list. I wonder if that trainer is wondering if he should have put it in the national now. Maritza takes it for Thomas Rogers. Ronaldo for Alex Cherry with second. Robin Knights for Darren Thompson third. Labanese Craig Beckwith fourth. And put the kettle on for David Hooley was fifth.